Hi guys, this is Mr. Racing Games and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to paint liveries on Photoshop using the 3D templates. So, um, I apologize for my English. First of all, I apologize for my English because I'm Italian and I'm sorry, I apologize for my pronunciation and for probably some mistakes that I will make. So, if something is not clear, uh, just put it down in the comments and I'm trying to answer that there also because I'm probably better in writing than speaking and sorry also if you need if you hear some background noises but they're making a construction right that next to my house so it's a bit noisy and okay I'm using the RSS2 mod from Racing Studio and it's a pay mod and I recommend you because probably is the best open wheeler mod out right now for Resetto Gorza and I'm using their templates that you can uh, you can download for free on race department so if you want to to follow tutorial um, use using these templates you just need to go to race department and download them so we just open the 3d folder and then the PSD and here we have the car if you go to the move to you'll see s five buttons right here this is the rotate button this is the raw one that I don't use because it's probably useless this this the move around the car move uh, following the blue line right here and this is the slide one where the car moves following the red one and this is the scale one so you just zoom in and zoom out probably and for this tutorial I'll make this view and what we're going to do is double click here on RSS2 chassis D and it creates the two dimensional template of the car so right here we're going to create a new layer that is the layer where everything that we're going to make here will go right here so and then if you just want to uh, for example every every logo that you make you want them in different layers and not in the same layers you just make a logo then create a new layer and so and so on so we create a new layer here and i'm going to make make a small form a small line right here that goes from the airbox to the fin uh, has some racing team have so like if I'm not wrong racing engineering or trident for uh, talking about formula 2 so we just made it uh, right click field path I'm I'm using the white color but you can use every color you want and this is the result so don't be scared about it uh, because you just need to right click on layer merge down and then the the white part that we made it is just merged with the car and if we come back to the two dimensional template you can see that here and here we have these two these two parts and you can see from this example that 3d livery making is a lot more useful and a lot more quick than making making it in the two-dimensional template because as you saw we just drew a line here that it goes from the airbox to the fin and we can see that the airbox is here while the fin is here 
so they are not continuously that not continuous but they are separated so if you want to do it on the 2 2d template it would be a very long process because you need to to make the UV visible then try to find the right line here that matches the lines here and it could be really really a pain in the ass and that's probably all you need to to know about it because it's this simple you're probably thinking wow is it so simple the answer is yes that's all that's all I know if I want to be fair that's all I know that's all I use for making liveries and I'm I can say that that's all you need to make liveries so we're going also to add a logo on the car and we're going to make it on the on the side and this is another very useful thing about the 3d because when applying the logo right here on the side in this view it will follow the car curve because this side of the car of course is not straight but it's curved it's rounded i don't know how to say it and we're going to do it in the same exact uh, way that we made this line so we go here we create a new layer and then we make file open and we'll try to find the logo that you want to to add on your car uh, for example Sonax that yes it's a PNG file so you need to find if you just need the the lettering of PNG file so the, big the background is not colored but it's transparent we just duplicate this layer to the RSS chassis, chassis D PSD that is the 3D template and here it is so we scale it we rotate a little bit and then we just need to right click and merge down here it is here it is as you can see I just copied it sorry as you can see it is like curved it's not straight because as I said before it follows the car while if you make it in 2D if you just apply the Sonax logo here you probably have it like like this so it goes up mm, it points down and it's not perfect so you should probably go to edit transform and then use some distort skew and everything else you need to so this is probably a lot quicker and a lot easier so this is probably all i hope that this quick video can help you i hope that you start to making liveries to add some beautiful content to the race department community and have a nice day have a nice holiday and goodbye